Hello there, Internet. My name is Sam, and welcome back to my space. <laughs> and welcome to... Wardwell House. A free-to-play horror game found on Steam. Now, I'm going to confess something. Um, I had a very rough day at work. So, uh, just letting you know, I'm going to be... Drinking away some of my sorrows. <laughs> Not sponsored by Angry Orchard, but damn it should be. This is my second one today, so. I'm going to be drunk while playing this game. Tipsy. I don't know what's going to happen. Are you ready to come with me? Because it's going to be an adventure, bro. Going to be an adventure. Also, I got this to counteract it. And this to counteract that. Alright. Let's go. Show me what you got, game. I'm not afraid. I got my double finger defense. Also, the same for children. Okay. Uh. I've been lost in the water for countless days. I'm dehydrated, starved, exhausted, and I think I'm losing it. The water's not shallow enough for me to have run aground. How could I have drifted here? How to play. Look around holding the left mouse button and moving around. Zoom in or out by right clicking. Read all hot posts and zoom into arrow to proceed. Okay. Oh, it's like a Google map. Oh. There's no way this is getting fixed without tools and materials. Even then. Nice canoe, bro. Aha, I see you. I'm coming towards you. Swimming downstream is dangerous and requires too much energy. I should follow a path through this forest. Maybe I can find something to fix my boat. Uh... I think we gonna we gonna be dead, aren't we? I don't wanna go Where are you? Here's something. Where are you? Okay. Let's go. Bro. Huh. A strange landmark? Hopefully. Dead decaying trees everywhere. Everywhere. This island doesn't look like the most habitable of places. You're not on an island. Are you? You're just going down a stream, but... You know, it's not necessarily an island. Hi! Then the Shroud of Evil. Excuse you? Why would someone hang a creepy looking black cloth like that? Because they're assholes. Huh! Well, that's nice. Just a skull. My god, a human skull? It looks aged and decrepit. Is this from a shallow grave? Oh, look. Bones. Not sure what creature's leg that is. It looks like there are predators about. I need to find shelter before it gets dark. That's a human leg, you idiot. Oh, boy. A noose tied... That's not a noose. Noose tied to a glistening steel chain. It looks fresh. Like it's only recently been placed. Oh, we're next. That's good. Ah, uh, finally some life on this island. I'm so hungry that I wouldn't mind joining them in their little feast. They're eating somebody, dude. Oh! How was I supposed to know that was there? 
All the guts are still inside. And someone or something skinned the poor thing alive. Who would do such a thing? You don't know if it was skinned alive. It's a very false accusation there, Frando. Huh? A dead crow whose wings have been torn off. Oh. But if I can't find some other meal, I'll come back and cook this. Beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, but they can also be scared. Just scared to their feather balls. Uh, I thought that was a person, but it's just another black cloth. I have a bad feeling I'm being watched or followed. Then why? I would just trust the river. F float and see where it goes. You know? Let me follow the stream and see where it leads to. At least I'll have something to guide me along. Might not be a good idea but okay bro this hook looks used it's been here for a while small chunks of rotten flesh still remain on it i'd have been to be completely crazy to eat that though i'm not too far from the line of thinking right now it will be soon i'm sure this black cloth is meant for us uh, a foreboding message but i should press on i'm dying of hunger yeah, you'll be dying of a lot more later. Ah. Uh, God. Damn it. Where are the bells coming from, bro? This particular black cloth looks like a praying witch. Maybe I'm hallucinating, but it appeared to have moved. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh! Okay, just... Oh. Yeah. Did someone else receive an abrupt violent end here? Or has my delirium gotten the best of me? A man-made path in the middle of the forest. I finally might be nearing civilization. I finally might be nearing an end to my suffering. Given what you've seen, are you sure that's what's going to be happening here? Alright, I guess I'm... <laughs> You're the monster. I see. You say so. Each time I see these, I get the strange feeling that they were once people... Okay. So yes, there will be a monster behind me. Ha! Ha! Ho! Oh. Ha! Who? Who? Uh. Oh. Okay. I don't like that's quiet. Chapter two. Wardwell House. The path has led me to a clearing, and I've arrived to an old, dilapidated house. At least I have found... Sanctuary, I guess. More like... You found shelter. Let's go with... Those, those windows are looking pretty nice. Let's go with shelter. No way I'm going back into the wilderness. Fuck that. Hmm. I think I see another house. Huh. It's obvious that strange cult-like activities took place on this island in a previous era. Uh, I wonder how... I wonder who would build a house on this sinister island. I think about it later. For now, I really want... I need to rest. so much. Not yet. Uh-oh. Huh. Various rusted tools and chains scattered around. Nothing unusual here. Man, my step up. Okay, moving on. 
Um, well, obviously, this is here. The decapitated head of a horse. The eyes and innards of the head have been removed. The smell here is sickening. Wait, how? This house is not dilapidated. Maybe the roof is a little bit, but everything's... Is this... No. No. No mannequins. I'm stunned. Immaculateness and opulence were not the impression I was expecting to have on the way in. Yep, wait till it all goes to shit, bro. The painting of a gorgeous horse in its prime. Unfortunately, it looks the same as the one outside. Oh. Why are you making me go into the parlor with the mannequins? Why? Oof. It's going heavily on that feeling of, uh, What's the word? Lumosity? La limp la man la. Uh, it's not lumosity, it's lu. Oh. Uh, basically, it's eerie things where there's supposed to be people, there's nothing. There's a word for it, and future me will figure it out eventually. Everything looks well maintained. Is someone still living here? These uniforms look ancient. They're not... It seems like little children once lived here. All right, here's the deadbeat dad. Well-groomed family. They look rich. Very rich. According to the clock, today's date is September 21st. I can't believe that I've been in the water for more than five weeks now. It's like a, a liminality is basically where there's yeah, an occup a space that's supposed to have something in it, but it doesn't. Like, say, a carnival that's empty. This is a very lumin luminous space because of that. You have 88 new messages. Same message from five years ago. Jacob, this is my final reminder about the upcoming board meeting. As CEO and chairman of the board, you are responsible to enter the charges leveled against you. The meeting will discuss how you squandered company funds on gambling. You have not attended a single meeting for months, and the board will also decide your future as chairman. Please respond. This is your company, and it faces huge problems. Oops. Well then. Pages and pages of the head of household's diary entries. It looks like he suddenly shifted gears and focused on gambling above all else. And then he begins focusing on his family history and genealogy. His name is Jacob Wardwell. Oh, that's a lot. A painting depicting destruction caused by rising waves and storms. A Clara wins Kentucky Derby. Volume after volume on topics ranging from finance to profitability to investing and even horse racing. Text on theology, mysticism, and ancient history. It's apparent that many more books are missing from the shelf than any others. <sighs> I haven't gotten this tipsy in a while. That sure looks freshly washed and ironed. That's because there's someone living here. You have another, you have two pianos? Lucky, I only have a keyboard. Three pianos, excuse me. Okay, two keyboards and a grand piano. Piano Sonata number eight in C minor. Why'd you do that? I shouldn't have done that. I'm so drained, it's hard to concentrate. I like how it's a split image right there. And there. <laughs> they had to raise it so I can. Beautiful place. <laughs> okay. 
addressed to Jacob Wardwell by his wife, who says that she will be returned in one week for the rest of her things and to collect the children. Why make me go into the children's bedroom? Uh. What? Is this a... Uh. Those scratches on the ceiling? Yeah. It's so tempting, but this house has raised my curiosity, so I'll look around first. I swear to God, if one of you move, I'm going to fucking shit a brick. Photos from decades past. It looks like someone was searching through the, this family's background for something. Okay, we'll go here now. Isn't this three stories? Well, that's an awkward angle. All that's in here is the... <laughs> You got me, game. You got me. Nice little tailor tuxedo, though I see several red stains on it. Okay, well. Someone got brutally murdered. Huh. An even better bed. It's done. This will be my new bedroom for the next few days. No. Absolutely not. It's getting light, but I'm no rush to leave since I doubt. Anyone's here. Ah, damn it. Ah, oh. That doesn't help. Um, you know, I'd suddenly regret doing this, especially in my mindset. Oh, well, that's obviously added. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Uh, went down the hall, I gotta find somewhere to find downstairs. You got it, bro, we'll go downstairs. Why am I drunk? There's plenty of places to hide downstairs, right? Second thought, I better leave rather than hide. I don't wanna get caught. Cool, where, front door, back door, which door? Which door? Back door. Got it. No, damn it. Sorry, I keep getting out of frame. Uh. Well, you told me to come out here. Oh, I see. Oh. Thank goodness I got out. I don't know who. That was, but I'd rather not find out. Well, it's probably the person who, you know, put the cross there. Come to think of it. Oh, man. He's... There's clearly a road right over there. Oh, man. Oh, fine. You're not helping. It's beginning to get dark. Was I really in the house for that long? I wonder if I passed out for a while and didn't notice. Why is everything lopsided?
Hello. I have to drag my feet to the boat. Maybe I can patch it up with some of the fallen tree branches near it. I'm gonna die. We're all gonna die. Hi. You're new. Just thinking about being back on the water makes me sick. The sun was beating on me for days. I had nothing to eat or drink. You were in a lake. Look, man, it's better than dying. Just saying. Being completely alone for weeks without any resources can make a man go crazy. The mind starts to turn on itself, leading to hallucinations. Yeah, and topsy-turvy world, bro. Topsy-turvy. In one hallucination, I saw the waves rise as high as skyscrapers. They came crashing down upon me. When I came to my senses, the water was serene and peaceful. Oh, I'm already facing the direction I need to go. Huh. Can my luck get any worse? It's about to start raining any minute. How will my broken boat handle the storm? I guess we're shit the fuck. We're just screwed, man. I think I'm almost back. I'm almost back to where I began. What sort of jump scare is gonna come after me? Good build up. Oh! Can't be possible. Could I have navigated back to by mistake? We're caught in a witch's trap, aren't we? Chapter 3 Son of Salem. It's too cold outside. And the rain is getting heavier by the minute. I can't risk getting hypothermia by staying outside. It's just, it's best to go inside the house until the rain stops. It's, I just hope the person that lives here is gone. Or won't brutally murder me. I regret this decision. Oh, oh no. Okay. You have 87 new messages. Playing message from five years ago. Hello. Thank you. Uh, I wanted to speak face to face, but uh, since you didn't show up for the meeting, uh, it's with the utmost regret. I have to tell you that you're fired effective immediately and the board has elected me the new chairman and CEO of Wardwell Industries. Your actions have brought this company to its knees, but I will try my best to restore the once great name that your father built. Oh, and uh, say hi to Kathy for me. <laughs> There's an affair going on. Okay. Very old newspaper clipping from the Salem Gazette. From what must be, have been one of its first years in publication in 1791. The reporter is writing about the aftermath of Salem witch trials, which were near their 100 year anniversary. It looks like many victims, families, members were financially compensated, but money can't replace the dead. Was that it? Oh boy. I'm gonna get caught and killed. Huh. I've been locked in. I can't get it open no matter how hard I try. Ah. Shit bargs. Dire entry by Jacob Wardwell, dated five years ago. The familiar dark sensation has again been growing in me. I can hear his voice in my head, leading me to unimaginable acts. I have fought it for years, but alas. Oh. Wait, where's the phone to begin with?
This diary wasn't open to this page when I left it. Grandfather came to me in a dream last night. The same dream of him being led for execution. But this time he smiled to me as the noose was tied around his neck, knowing our pact had been sealed. Ooh. Books on the occult and paganism. The bookmark is on the chapter about the faith's vision of hell. It's chilling how similar this house is to its description. A valley where people and animals were sacrificed. The entrance to which was littered with human remains. A note by Jacob Wardwell. And so it is. Or begins? They screamed and wailed as the blaze devoured them, and yet I had no feelings. I will fulfill his destiny, something my weak father never could. Uh, okay. That's spooky at all. Page from Ella World Wardwell's diary. How could you do this to my cat, Father? Seeing her burned alive has left a scar in my mind that will remain forever. This is my last diary entry dedicated to you. Someone who did such a horrific thing cannot be my father. This is a poor choice. Wait, I wasn't in this room before. Oh no. All these dolls look so realistic. I can almost sense them move. It must be a voodoo doll of some sort because it's filled with rusted nails and needles. Uh, uh. These eerie looking dolls are giving me the creeps. It's locked behind me. <laughs> no! What the hell's happening? A strong presence, some of the room emanating from these dolls. Help! Fuck that doll. Oh no. Can I go? No. No. Uh. No, no. Oh! That's all. My head is throbbing. I'm on the brink of insanity. This can't really be happening. This can't be my hands. Oh, bro. Ah. Shit. Emergency tools scattered across the floor. A deranged and demented psychopath lives here. I was better off dying in the water than this hell. Well, let's go die in the water then. Chapter 4. To a better place. With whatever life I have left in me, I need to make my way back to the forest. There must be some way to escape. Am I going to be back in the house again? Oh, the head's gone. Oh, boy. Uh... Footsteps. It seems like there are wild dogs in this island. Though in this darkness, it's hard to see what's going on. Uh -huh. I found up back at the mansion again. Stop doing that! 
feel so weak. I'll be easy prey for any predator. Ugh. I've got to muster up a little energy I've got left to get the hell out of here. Ditching. This footsteps sound closer. I feel someone or something is following me. I don't like that noise. Here's the big scare. This footsteps have stopped. What is following me has seemed to have retreated. Ah. I hate you. I don't have a feeling we're going to get that lucky, buddy. Sorry. I can see moonlight shimming on the water. It looks like I'm finally close to my boat. You'd think. I doubt it, though. Oh. Damn it, Spore. <laughs> Storm must have swept away my boat. Now what? Um. Ha <laughs> oh! ha Sup, bro? What? Oh. Gotcha. I am dead now. Well, uh, guess why, uh, well, um, I died. Created by Moataz Bati, Teniver Bati, Sean Dalton. Most expensive horse sold. Horse bought by famed industrial Jacob Wardwell. Jacob Wardwell has become the proud owner of the Claire, the most expensive horse ever sold. Mr. Wardwell has, set, has become a common sight at a big money race, even as his company stock has underperformed since he took the reins from his late father, Holster Wardwell. I have had my eye on the Claire for over a year, and I look forward to blah, blah, blah. Jacob Wardwell buys island. Location to remain undisclosed. The chairman and CEO of Wardwell Industries has bought himself a large island. This newspaper has learned I wanted privacy for my family, and this is a magnificent place. Work has already started on the house we are building there. The location will remain a secret, though there are hints that it is near the coast of Massachusetts. Well, I won't go into that. Our family has a history of lake and legacy to hear, but... I told you, I will not disclose the location. A Claire continues a losing streak. Wardwell's prize horse costs him his fortune. Bad times continue for a Claire and her owner. Jacob Wardwell, a Claire has not been. Uh, same foot injury a year ago, and she continues to lose. Mr. Wardwell paid the highest sum ever but to buy a Claire, but has mm, gambling massively. Wardwell Industries once Charlotte, a large company, but in Boston, uh, okay. Well, I believe that is the Wardwell house. It's not bad. Many years later. What? Wait, what?
After all these years of searching, could this finally be the island I've been looking for? Oh, no. Looking for? Great. I'm an investigative journalist. Cool. My kitty disagrees. agrees with what I'm looking at. Huh. Odd. I've been searching for more than 20 years. Dad, I hope you're still... Oh, he's dead. He's very dead. Oddly enough, though, this is a different part of the island. Wardwell House. Um, it's not bad. If with what they got, they did a pretty decent job uh, with the atmosphere and songs. Okay, well. Um, I've had experience playing. I've still got terrified. Also, my judgment is impaired because I've been drinking. Uh, sorry. But for what it is, it's not too bad. Uh, it was a free game, so considering the other crap that's out there, it's pretty good. It's not too bad. It's pretty good. Um, you know what? I'm a YouTuber. I just played a spooky game. It had some spooks? Yeah. Was it the most terrifying game I've played? No. Did it drain but it hit its scares where it needed to be, and it was had an interesting gameplay. And that's all that matters for an hour of fun. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm glad I played another game I've never played before, or heard. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye!